I'm always fascinated when I read in the sports section that a golfer penalized himself during a tournament. This is when a golfer, and it happens more than you'd think, reports that he broke the rules, maybe he moved his ball or nudged a twig out of the way without thinking. Now, there's a lot at stake here, thousands and thousands of dollars, and this golfer publicly admits a misdeed that hurts his position, even if no one else saw it. Now, I know from personal experience how that game can bring out the worst in you, so that makes it all the more impressive when I see someone showing us his best. Those swinging things have always given me trouble. Ever since my dad started taking me to play miniature golf when I was Taylor's age. Now here I was, carrying on the tradition. Father to son. As Taylor's dad, every day seems to bring a new challenge, a new question. How should I handle this? How do I make sure he learns the important things. And every time I feel uncertain, I just ask myself, what would my dad do? Like the first time he brought me here. I don't ever remember any big speeches or lectures from him. It wasn't his style. But somehow, he taught me what was right. I learned a lot by just watching him. When my dad asked how much for us to play that day, the man behind the counter said it was $3 each. But kids, six and under, were free. Now, it's true I was seven then, but just barely. My birthday had been just two weeks before. I wasn't even used to being seven yet. Without batting an eye, dad pulled out his wallet and handed the man $6. My boy is seven now, he said. The man who took our money seemed a little shocked. He looked at me and, and my dad. He said we could have saved ourselves three bucks. He said we could have told him that I was six and he would have never known the difference. I'll never forget what my father's answer was. It stayed with me my whole life. He said, yes, you're right. I could say he was six and you probably wouldn't have known the difference. But you know what? My son would. <laughs> 